Okay, so I want to take a look at how we take the CSS that we're creating and then go and apply it to other pages of our sites. So right now I have my index page, which is always my landing page, and I have two other pages. I have HTML1 and I have HTML2. Now, what I want to take a look at here first is taking a look at my CSS styles. Okay, and I have web design CSS, and here I can see that I have my info for my header, but I do not have the information that gave, made this page turn blue. Okay, this blue of this page is actually going to instead be in the style. Okay, this info right here. Now, how I accessed this info on this page was I went to CSS, actually either one, and it was in the page properties. So I set it. Now, that is only attached to this page because it is not in the um, it's not in the uh, in the in the CSS page. Now I want to do another thing here, real quick. I'm going to change my link color. Let's go for something that's going to stand out against this color. Why not? We'll go for that. I'm going to change my visited links. Let's go for that color. My rollover links. Add a little bit more color. Sometimes it can be color overload. I want them all to work. Let's see go for that one and then my active links now you don't need to put all of this info in if you don't want to I'm trying to get ones kind of similar um, now if I want to turn off that underline I can do that too right I could put in you know never underline or show underline on ro rollover hide underline on rollover there's a lot of different things we'll just keep it as it is and just know that that is there so I'm gonna hit OK now what happens as I take a look at this I can see in the body here um, the information that is there, and that's actually all that I that I did right here. So what I want to do with this rule uh, that we just created is I want to actually take the information that I've put in here and put it onto my web design CSS. All right, it looks like this is one too. This is all my info for my rollovers that I just did. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit I'm going to Control. I'm going to right click this, I'm going to highlight it, control click, and I'm going to say move CSS rule, and it's going to give me this web design CSS. Okay, excellent. I just moved that. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this style, and I can hit control up, because I need to select all of them. So I'm going to shift and click to select more than one, and then I'll right click, control click, and I'm going to move my CSS rules, and I'm going to move them to my web design CSS. Now, when I take a look at my web design CSS, I can see all of this information for this page. Okay, so let's now come on in here and let's apply this information to this page. How do we do that? Well, we come to our CSS styles, and all we want to do is we say attach style sheet, we're going to browse and we are going to find this style sheet. Okay, web design CSS, choose. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's go to this next one. This one we're going to see it a little bit clearer because um, we'll see the information on the links come through. There are links on this one. Oops, I hit the wrong thing. So again, I'm going to hover. I'm going to get the attach CS attach style sheet, click, and it already has found it. I'm going to hit OK. And I can see actually now when I go and I preview this in Safari, okay, that um, you know, all of that info is here. Oops, I just unclicked it. Okay. All right, when I when I hover over, we can see what happens. Okay. Uh, when I have the ones that I have visited now these are all paid these are all within the page these are things that we did uh, this is an exercise that I have a video on okay so there we have it now let's take a look at another thing that we can do let's say that I decide now you know what I actually want to insert my header I'm gonna actually put a space I'm gonna come right up into here and all of the header info will be saved from the CSS 
Okay, so I'm going to come to my window, my insert panel, and I'm going to say that I would like to insert an AP div tag. Insert, not an AP div tag, I'm sorry. Insert a div tag. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right into here. I'm going to say yes at insertion point, and I am going to find the header. There it is, header. And I'm going to say OK, and there is that header. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert my image that I have. Insert image and I'm going to come in and I'm going to find that header. I'm going to choose it. Alternate text header. OK. And there it is. Let's preview it one more time. Save. And there we have it. Voila magic. So what's beautiful about our CSS styles is we can go in. If I wanted to change this color, I only have to do it in one place. And even, you know, if I decided, oh, these links, there's just too much pink going on here. What am I thinking? I could go in and I could just change that information. So uh, that's what's a really beautiful thing about, um, about this all. Just look at one more thing. Let's say that you know, as I said, that that pink was just too much. Um, well, I could I could change that, all right? And it's very easy to change. I could just come back to my properties panel. I want to come to my CSS. Actually, I'm going to click on one of these guys, okay? And what I want that was the color of the visited, okay? So my targeted rule. All of your rules are going to be in here, okay? The ones that are the ones that you're. If I, for instance, if I came onto header. Um, and I wanted to change that, then I could, I could change it that way. But let me come back to here. Okay. And again, I'm going to get edit rule. All right. And actually that's active. I don't want to change the active color. I want to say, uh, the visited that pink. So I'm going to say edit rule and I can double click visited. Let's think Get away from all that pink, that pinkness. Maybe we'll go for like a gray. That might work better. Apply. Okay. Let's preview it in Safari. Of course, we'll have to save it first. All right, so now we can see the ones that we visited will be gray. And again, you can play around with this as much as you'd like to. Maybe this one isn't dark enough. Okay. Um, but we'll leave it with that. You can even keep them the same if you'd like. There's lots and lots of options. Thanks for listening.